it's me, Terry of the Yarn Joy Podcast. Welcome back to another episode of Crafting with Friends. So how's everybody doing? How was your weekend? Um, grab yourself something to drink and or something to work on, and let's just have a little chat. <laughs> okay, so I am drinking out of my Yarn Joy cup that dear Seta gave me, had made for me and gave to me. I have since made some and create a merch shop if you're interested. It's always in my description, in the description box below. Anyway, I'm drinking coffee. <laughs> okay, and let's see, how was my weekend? Um, I went to my mom's, uh, took her shopping, um, did a few things for her, and so I didn't get any crocheting done that day. <laughs> that was on Saturday. Um, Besides that, we stayed up here. We had a, um, let's see, what day was that? I think that was Saturday evening. Yeah, Saturday evening, we had a really big rainstorm. I think it was Saturday evening. Oh, days run together. <laughs> so, I don't know, but I think it was. Anyway, <laughs> um, we had a rainstorm. No, you know, I, that, I think that was last weekend. I mean, before the weekend. I don't know. Anyway, we had like two different days where we had rainstorms, and the total we got like four and a half inches, a little over four and a half inches of rain, I think. So I think that's what it was. Anyway, so it saturated the ground really well. <laughs> um, so let's see, just worked on projects. Uh, I worked a lot on the this uh, this project that I'm working on, the uh, rubber ducky blanket for. Um, the Crafting with Friends, I, I'm almost finished with it. So let's just get into our projects and I will show you how much I got done. Okay, so I actually got the whole entire thing finished and I'm now beginning to work on the border. Okay, so let me give you the details. Uh, it, is the, it is the pattern that is called Nana's Rubber Duckies Blanket. I printed it off. It's a paid for pattern, but I think it's worth it. Her, she's got some really cute patterns. Um, there, it is a filet crochet project. Uh, it is, the Ravelry store name is called Nana's Crochet Creations. And I will link this particular blanket down below in the description box if you want to check it out. And while you're there, check out her other patterns as well. I got about four of them, I think. I think she must have had a sale or something, maybe a special where you bought like three of them and you got the fourth one free or something. And so I got several of her patterns all at once. Um, so anyway, I am finished with the, the, um, pattern. <laughs> it is a written pattern. There is no chart to it. Uh, let's see what else I use DK weight yarn, which I believe the one I use the, the yarn I use, cause it, it came in a mystery, mystery bag of yarn. Um, one of those where you get like a pound of yarn for a certain price. And um, so th there was no labels on it, but just by the shape of the skein and the, and just the look of it, I think it, it is uh, Bernat uh, Baby Sport, either that or Softy Baby, I'm not sure, but it's in their pink color. And so um, that's what I used. I used a J hook, which is what it called for. And that is, uh, where's my hook right here? It is a um, six millimeter hook, okay? And that's what I used. Um, so let me go ahead and show you. It is, it is three rows of duck, no, four rows of three ducks in a row. <laughs> so here it is. So there is the top one. Aren't they cute? They just turned out so cute. Look at that. So one, two, three, <laughs> and four. So I got it all done. And uh, I did weigh it because I was wondering how much yarn did I use? Because I used, I had two big, looked like a big ball of cotton candy, but I had two big cakes of that pink. In fact, I got some more in there. <laughs> but besides that, but anyway, I used a whole cake, not cake, it was like a big jumbo skein. I used a whole one Plus, I started into my second one, and I used, um, I don't know how much I used, because I didn't weigh it to begin with. Um, I did weigh the blanket, though, before I, because now, see, I'm attaching white to it, because I'm going to do a border. But I weighed it before I 
added any extra yarn to it and it was for me it turned out being 8.8 .8 ounces and then I weighed the skein that I had left over that I didn't use and there was six ounces left of that so I'm assuming that maybe those two skeins together was around 15 ounces what are they like seven and a half ounce skeins maybe something something like that anyway um, this is weighs 8.8 .8 ounces which is like 249 grams something like that for me with my tension all that <laughs> and I did measure it uh, the measurement of it now this is without the border I just measured it and it was 32 inches I got 32 inches wide by 37 inches long so that's a good size actually um which I'm very surprised because normally I'm, I thought I was a tight knit, uh, crocheter, not a knitter, crocheter, but it says measures approximately 28 inches by 32 inches is what this one had, the, the pattern has. And, um, but mine turned out to be 32 by, was it 37 or 35? Oh, now I don't know. 35? I think it's 37. Oh my gosh. Anyway, something like that. <laughs> I just measured it. <laughs> anyway, um, so I decided not to add a, any extra of the pink because I thought, well, if it's not big enough or if I don't like the size, I could always go uh, do some border uh, in the pink. Just like she had, they had suggested in the pattern. It just said that you could use whatever border you wanted to use. Uh, and, and she had suggested that she used a moss stitch border around the whole thing, like seven rounds or something. And I thought, well, I'll measure it as is, see what the size is. If I think it's really, if it's too small, then maybe I will do a few rounds of that moss stitch and then add the, the border that I was wanting to add. Well, I measured it and I thought, well, that's plenty, that's a plenty, that is a good size. I was going to say plenty good, but I don't, <laughs> that's probably not proper. <laughs> uh, that's a good size. And so I'm, I'm just, I thought, okay, I'm going to go ahead and just cut my yarn and then I'm going to get my white, um, yarn and then I'm going to start going with the border. Now the border I'm going to be using is called the Pico shell border. And it's a border that I have a tutorial for, um, here on my channel. So I'll link it down below in the description box. Uh, it's not my design, but I got permission to make a tutorial for it. And I think it's just a great border pattern to have, especially if you're gonna do it for a little, a little girl, you know, because it's, it's a nice, I think it's a cute, dainty border. I, I like it and it's easy. And so um, what I'm doing is I'm adding white and I'm gonna do a single crochet all the way around it to give me like a foundation row and around <laughs> and I have to have it, it it is a border that's continuous that goes all the way around and so I'm I have to make sure that I have a multiple of 10 stitches when I you know counting the corner stitches everything 10 stitches you know all the way around multiple of 10 and so uh, I counted the stitches and mine turned out to be 77 stitches across by 75 rows and so what I'm gonna do is 77 so I need to add three stitches to make it a hundred so that way across the top so that way there would be a multiple of 10 so I'm gonna do that or in fact I already did that <laughs> and then I'm gonna go down this side and since it's 75 rows I just need to do two single crochets per row you know you are working into some uh, double crochets and if you do two sub, uh, two single crochets per row, that's gonna give you 150 stitches, and that's a multiple of 10, so that's good. <laughs> and then when I do across the bottom, then I'll remember that I have to, because it'll be 75 again, no, 77. And so I have to add three stitches in there, you know. Um, so I'll have a total of 100 going across the bottom, and then I'll do the 150 across the other side, and I'll have my multiple of 10, so that's good. And then I will be ready for the border. And so I will just continuing on with the white. So that's what I'm doing right now is I'm adding this white single crochet uh, foundation round 
to make sure that I've got the right stitch count that I have I'll, going all the way around it. And then I will continue with the border. And I think the border is like, it's like three or four rounds, something like that. It's not, it's not a lot, you know, it's not a whole lot, a lot. Yeah. So, um, I think it's three or four rounds. I'll have to look at the pattern again, but anyway, I'm going to be following my own tutorial <laughs> to, to remind myself about it. But I think it's going to look really nice in this pink with the ducks. Yeah. And um, I even have somebody to give it to. When I started this, I didn't have anybody to give it to in particular. Um, but I had all this pink yarn that I wanted to do something with. So I thought, okay, I'm going to do it in pink. I'll use up some of that pink yarn. Because I had like a whole cubby of pink yarn over there in my craft room. And so... I wanted to use, you know, I wanted to do something with it. So that's what I was, why I used the pink. I didn't have enough yellow to do the yellow. And I really wanted to use that, use stuff out of my stash. So I went with the pink. Okay. Well, there's a young couple at church and I don't know why they didn't come to mind. I, they should have because they're having, they're pregnant and they're having a little girl. It's their first baby. In fact, it's a rainbow baby because she miscarried the first time. And so uh, everything's going really well. She's got two months more, I think, to go. And so um, everything's going well. She's and she's having a little girl. And so I'm going to make the finish this project up, and that's who I'm going to give it to is is uh, that couple at church. So there you go. Now, since I found out, or it, I, well, I saw a Facebook post, and that reminded me. Oh yeah, they're having a little girl. <laughs> then. Um, that motivated me to get all this done and go ahead and get, you know, get it done and, and so I can give it to them because they already had a baby shower for them. And so I will just give it, give it to them, you know, at church. But anyway, so last week, you know, I, I had just two rows of the ducks. And so I was like halfway through. And so as you can see, I finished <laughs> the other, the other two rows. Um, and in fact, I, it worked up so fast. I didn't start working on this until, um, let's see, today is Wednesday. I almost said Tuesday. Today's Wednesday. I don't think I started even working on it until maybe Monday. Today's Wednesday. Monday, I think. Two days, maybe. And I finished it all up. So, um, I'm so happy that it's almost finished. And so, um, yeah, it'll be finished. And, uh, if I still have, if I finish it, let me, th let me think. Yeah, if I finish it, I'll probably give it to them on Sunday at church when I see them. You know, if I get it finished, and I'm sure I will. So what I will do is I will take a picture of it. So that way I can show it as a finished object next week uh, for my crafting with friends. And then um, then I got to pick something else to do. So hmm, I have to be thinking about that. <laughs> so anyway, there you go. So that is what I worked on the, the most. What I have been working on is the last couple of days is finishing this. Uh, I did finish the Feel Better Friend doll. I showed you that on Thursday if you watched my episode, uh, my last video. But uh, I already sent it off and she already, I, in fact, I sent it the very next day on Friday. And um, I sent it off and she already received it. And, and the mom of the little boy that, that I made the doll for, she was so uh, nice about, you know, sending me an email back saying that they received the doll. And she said that, oh, that, she, that he just loved it. And it's a little boy that's got autism. And uh, she even sent me a picture. In fact, she sent me like four pictures of him loving on that doll. It was so sweet. It just touched my heart. You know, he just squeezing it and loving it. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> and uh, I don't have permission, you know, to to show you that. Um, the only place we can use those pictures, if we get pictures back, is on the Feel Better Friend Maker uh, Facebook group page among the other makers that we can post pictures. And so I was able to do that. I posted the picture that picture on there. And so if you're part of that group and you watch my videos, which I think there's a couple of you maybe that do, then you saw that. Uh, but anyway, I think it turned out great. If you remember the hairstyle, it had uh, the little boy, he had his hair cut really short on the sides and around the back, but on the top, it was longer. And what was on the top, it was curly, the hair. And so that's why I made the doll the way that I did. 
and I think it turned, it, it looked a lot like him, I think. So I think it was the best doll that I made so far, as far as it actually looking like the child, you know? So that was, I felt, I feel like that that was a success. <laughs> so that was what happened with that. So that was fun and exciting. <laughs> and, um, so what else? Uh, I'm working on, I showed, I think on Thursday in my video, I showed that I finished Oscar. I'm making Oscar the Grouch for my grandbaby. And I finished him. I'm working on his garbage can. <laughs> and uh, this is what I've got so far. Ugh. Right here. <laughs> so I did a circle and then I made another circle identical and there's a plastic canvas inside there. I put them together and then I, I single crocheted them together and now I'm just working up the sides. And so I still have several rounds to go before I get the height that I need. But it is the right size as far as the uh, circumference or diameter. Um, the I, I tried out Oscar and he does sit, he can sit or fit in there, so that's good. So I'm working on his garbage can. I need to build that height up. Uh, let's see, what else? I finished my other two preemie hats um, for the month of April. So I've got those two finished. And um, I'm trying to think. Oh, and I finally got picked up the Scrappy Steps blanket. The, the uh, Scrappy, yeah, the Scrappy Steps blanket I've been working on. I hadn't worked on it in a couple of weeks. Picked it up last night and I've done about three rounds, something like that of it. And so I've, I've got a little bit of progress. I'll probably work some more on that tonight. And um, yeah. Oh, and then my 100 day project. I'm still working on that. Today I posted, this was day 64. I already posted the picture for that. Uh, and for day 64, that actually is round 77. I have to go up to round 113. And so that one is coming along good. I now have to, I, before I was taking a picture of it laying on my table, my dining room table, but now it's so big, the, the diameter of it, I now have to put it on the floor and spread it out and take a picture of it. And so, um, yeah, that's what I have. I haven't measured it in a while. So, but I, I do know it's, it's big enough that I have to put it on the floor now. <laughs> um, and like, yeah, so today was day 64. I am a couple of days ahead. Well, just tomorrow. I've got tomorrow's already com completed. So today I'm going to go ahead and do another round. You know, I want to stay ahead as much as I can. And um, so I just take a picture of it, you know, after I finish each round. But um, yeah, to give me cushion, like, because Saturday I didn't work on it at all. So see, I was like two days ahead. And since Saturday, I just didn't get to work on it. Now I'm just one day ahead. So I need to make that up. Um, yeah. Might do that this evening too. Is work, make two rounds on it today, maybe, instead of one to kind of put me ahead a little bit. We'll see. Anyway, <laughs> keeping up with that. So that's good. <laughs> Um, that's all that I've been working on. So now that I finished both my preemie hats, the one I needed for April, don't need to start anymore until May. I finished the Feel Better Friend doll. Um, and I'm almost finished with this. So I need to get to start some more projects. <laughs> um, yeah, so I don't know. Uh, one thing I've been thinking about doing, and maybe I'll make that for my next, um, uh, Crafting with Fringe friends project. I'm not sure, but I've been mean, I've been wanting to make or uh, start another, uh, corner, corner graph gan project. And I'm thinking maybe squares. Uh, if you watch my, if you watch my grab a stack, uh, Tuesday tidbits video, not yesterday's, but the week before I had showed, there was a book that I have that's like, um, I think it was that week. It was pixel crochet. And there was like, uh, a bunch of, there's charts in there of different images. I might pick out some squares that I feel like they'll go together and um, do those and, and but then put the squares together, make a blanket, you know. Uh, I might do that. I don't know. I'll either do that or the book that I showed yesterday in Grab a Stack, that last one, I think it was the last one. It was the one with the animal squares 
And um, I had said that Llama Mama Kayla had that book and that's the reason I had bought the book, but I haven't done anything in it yet. So maybe I will, oh, I might do that. I might pick that one, pick one of those out and, and work on that. Hmm, we'll see. <laughs> so yeah, we'll see. Maybe that, that will be what's upcoming. I don't know. <laughs> and um, I'm trying to think. Yeah, continue to work on Oscar. I need to get his garbage, garbage can finished. And uh, the birthday party for my grandbaby, it might end up being delayed a couple of weeks because I guess they were looking at future forecast for the Saturday they want his birthday party. And it looks like it might be rainy because it's been kind of rainy this spring, which is odd for us. It's, it's, we've had a wetter, cooler spring than we normally have. And so uh, they may postpone it. That's what my daughter-in-law was saying until maybe... Um, you know, for a cup for a few more weeks or something to make sure that we have good weather because they want to have like an outdoors party uh, at, in their backyard. And so uh, I, I told them, well, that's fine with us. I said, but I, and if if you do delay it uh, or postpone it, then then I might get some more Sesame Street characters done because my uh, that that pattern set that I bought from the left hand crocheter. Um, that is inspired by those characters. Uh, there's several characters in that set that I haven't made yet. Um, there's uh, Grover, and he's dressed as like Super Grover with the cape and the helmet, <laughs> and and Big Bird and Bert and Ernie. So um, I'll see. I'll ask her like, which one do you think he would like next, or whatever. And maybe I'm thinking probably Grover. I think, but we we'll see. And so, uh, I might end up doing that. <laughs> so, I guess that's it for today's Crafting with Friends. Let me know that what, what you've been working on. And um, I always enjoy seeing, or not seeing, but oh, feel free if you want to email me any pictures of your projects. Feel free to do that. And I will, and if with your permission, I will share them uh, on, on here, the YouTube channel. Uh, I love seeing what everybody is doing and hearing about it or seeing pictures of it. So feel free to do that if you want to. My email address is always down below in the description box under the find me at. And then I have, you know, where you can find me different places. And so, uh, yeah, I would love to see your projects. Um, so I guess that is it. Oh, what's for dinner? Well, uh, I don't have to cook a whole lot today. Yay! <laughs> so yesterday I went grocery shopping, did the weekly grocery shopping. In fact, I don't even think I went last week. Well, on Saturday, yeah. On Saturday we went to Sam's. No, not Saturday. Did we go? No, no. We went to Sam's on Friday. Yeah. So on Friday we went to Sam's. And so uh, I got quite a bit of things, quite a bit of stuff there. And so I, but besides that, I don't think I went to the regular grocery store last week. And so I went yesterday and I had to get a lot of stuff. <laughs> had to stock up on, you know, things. And so um, I ended up buying a Boston butt pork roast. They had them, uh, what, was it on sale? No, it's just the fact that pork is cheaper than beef right now. So um, I thought, oh, that looks good. I'll get that, cook in the Instant Pot, make carnitas out of it. So that's what I did. I bought it and, and I, when I got home, I was talking to my husband. I said, well, do you think I should go ahead and cook it or, do you, or maybe freeze it and, and save it for another time and then cook it? And he said, no, no, go ahead and cook it. Go ahead. And so I did that, but it took a lo pretty long time, even in the Instant Pot, because it was pretty thick. And so uh, we ended up eating leftovers for dinner. Um, and because it was long, it was later before that roast was done. And so when it was done, then I went ahead and, uh, you know, shredded it up. Well, kind of shredded, chunked it up, shredded it up, put it on a cookie sheet and uh, put barbecue sauce on it and then put it under the broiler for about five to 10 minutes, you know, just until the, it was bubbly and it was a little bit brownish, crusty-ish, a little <laughs> and then that's my carnitas. I don't know if that, that's what I call them. Anyway, so I have that. So uh, he took some for lunch today. I ate a little bit at lunch today of it. I'm, I'm sure we'll probably eat more of it this evening. And so all I have to do is come up with a side dish. So I think 
because I did buy a spaghetti squash yesterday. I think I'm going to cook that. I have my husband. Those things are hard to get into. <laughs> uh, so I always have him cut it in half for me. And then I will roast it in the oven. So I'll have him do that when he gets home. And go ahead and roast that. And so we'll have that along with that meat. But see, I don't have to cook any meat. Because I've already got that roast done. So I'll just uh, come up with some other side things. So... Um, yeah, it would be easy, easy dinner for tonight. <laughs> so um, I'm going to go. So everybody have a wonderful Wednesday, middle of the week, halfway to the weekend. Come back tomorrow and we will have a visit and I will show you my other project, the, pro the little preemie hats that I finished and some other projects for in my regular Yarn Joy podcast episode. And we will have a chat then. So um, see you tomorrow in the next video. Bye.